talking about a nation, I'm talking about a spiritual youth, a vibration all about positive youth, a meditation to the spirit of truth, <laughs> a revelation of the motherland. But on the other hand, there's another man propagating a lie <laughs> about fear and frustration. And we know why, because he's scared <laughs> to face the truth about a heritage, a positive proof of the bloodline from beginning to end, starting from Genesis, Adam was an African. Kisha the brother, the man, the plan, operating of the cover to devise a plan. Excuse him or another for the schemes that lies, perpetrating against the brother to his demise. Cause there's a one plan, that's right. Where did Africa get its name from? In this book called The El Dorado of the Ancients by a man named Carl Peters. And this word Ophir, which is Apar in ancient Hebrew, which we discovered is in Southeast Africa in Mozambique. Here we can positively prove that in the course of a series of centuries, the local name was extended to the whole continent and that therefore historical analogy for the extension of the old Semitic AFR. So when you say Africa, you saying Ophir, or better yet, Ophir Aka, because ICA is a suffix, means something belonging to. Hit the hedges in the highways, tell our people it's time. Tell the bloggers and the journalists, they need to see it online. Hey, they need to see it in sports. Put it in a documentary. Stars using their platforms. You cannot say that you were not warned. Now the truth going worldwide. Shalom to the 12 tribes of Israel and Gentiles across the globe. Last week I came to you and shared that black people in America, you are the biblical Israelites. You are the chosen people. You are with whom the Bible speaks of. You are from the seed of Yehoshua HaMashiach. Now, as for Gentiles, there's going to be many of you that feel like you've been lied to and you've been deceived. The best thing to do is to accept it because it's prophecy. And that comes from Jeremiah 16 and 19, which says, O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of the affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. It's okay. You've been lied to. Accept it. Gentiles, once you've accepted that you've been lied to, there's only one thing left to do. And that's Matthew 10 and 38. And he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. As a Gentile, your cross to bear is that you are a Gentile, you are not an Israelite, you are to share who the biblical Israelites are. They are black. It's a land of slave trade, Jews, numbering the 40 million people with customs and traditions doing circumcision on the eighth day, were the same exact people brought to the Americas on the transatlantic slave trade. Now, if someone goes to Times Square in New York today, you'll see uh, you know, African Americans dressed in Israelite outfits and yelling at people saying, you're not the real Jews, we're the real Jews. Uh, and so, most people say, well, you guys are cool, you just made this whole thing up, you made up a religion and Actually, no, they are the blood descendants, most likely, of the people who, from Israel, were brought from Africa to America. Closing in, breaking news, Negroes are the Jews, we got souls to win, we see straight for They feel guilty about the slave ship, ain't no running from Jacob's trouble. You gotta face this, they scared of a Hebrew with the mind of the ancients. And they do commands, the ones dangerous, terror on their faces. The tribes is back, they can't hide the facts Wait until they find out the Messiah black Is deeper than skin color What about the knowledge that they hid from us? They don't want you to know You royal you assume the road Whole time, it's enough of us to crash the whole system Days and all, we gon' build this heart But who gon' listen? No fear, affliction turn my temple into old fear Pure gold, time moving fast and end is so near Contracts and endorsements, now you very rich Take it all if you tell your people about their heritage We in the Torah and the prophets all of the testaments tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Second Exodus, uh, prodigal sons, judgment, you can't hide when it comes. Screaming, praise the most high at the top of my lungs. Vengeance is his, the prophetic, we live in the sea. Marvelous times, Luke 21, all of the signs. If I call myself the truth, they call it a crime. I ain't boasting, but we the chosen, just swallow your pride. Stumping by the stove, they don't want us to rise. Stacking my treasures in heaven where the Father resides. My op said, read the Jerusalem Post. Bro, we almost out of here, I was doing the most. City to city, it has begun. Great awakening, 12 stones, 12
12 gates, I pray I make it in as the scholars who we were before the slave trade, the way they brought us here, we might be going back the same way. All praise to the Most High, blessing to the chosen ones. Shalom on Yasharaba. Recently I've been going through struggles, you know, micro struggles though. Going through struggles with the Most High is a lot different than going through struggles by yourself because you already know that there's promises that were kept and that are still being kept over you. When I think about Joseph, when he was thrown into slavery and because of his faith he was able to come on top or even the promises that were made over Abram and Sarah um, when they were promised to have a child, Yah never falls void on his promises. And through the struggle is a test of your faith. And through the struggle is a, a test of who you are as an individual. One of the things I'm embracing in this time is struggle. Because I know when I go through struggle, I'm about to go ahead and get to the promise. Remember the promise. Bless Some of you might not like what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. Simply knowing who God is doesn't grant you access to his kingdom. You can know who I am all day. If you want to get access into my house, you have to really be my friend. Like, I have to really check for you. Same goes for the kingdom of heaven. Like, you really need to have a personal relationship with God, like a love relationship. But we can start with John 14, 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Pretty simple, right? Yet somehow society has been telling us that we either A, can't keep all the commandments, or some of them just aren't as important or some of them just aren't prevalent matthew 5 19 though tells us whoever breaks the least of the commandments and then teaches others to do so will be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven basically god's got standards First corinthians 6 9 and 10 tells us the unrighteous fornicators idolaters the effeminate and even the covetous won't enter the kingdom as i was saying to wrap it up at the end of the day we just offering what we have and what we know we've been revealed by the Most High to help y'all out. We ain't salvation, we ain't the way to salvation, but the earth is being judged, bruh. The whole, the whole world, the public school system, religion itself, you know what I'm saying, the news, everything is geared to be against the Most High so that he can't, or that we can't interface with him through what he's left because we won't believe. Um, so at the end of the day, this is just a, you know what I'm saying, a, not even a request, it's a command from the Most High. I'm just spitting it out to y'all from the heart. Please repent, consider your ways and think is it pleasing him, because you don't have forever. And that Bible that a lot of y'all claim to believe in, but say you'll have time tells you not to wait till the last minute. So we got to get it together, family. At the end of the day, I'm not about to be doom and gloom, but look for yourself, bro. Everywhere is being judged, and America's even starting to get hit when many people thought it was invincible. So at the end of the day, repent, seek the most high, and may he be glorified at the end of the day. Peace. Genesis, Adam.